What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Eric from Tricycle TV. Today we have the latest and greatest Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 in the studio and let's get right into the unboxing. Open this up. You will see, welcome to Samsung. Galaxy AI is here, Z Flip 6 and Z Flip 6. Free one year Samsung care if you do pre-order online. The official looking Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 box. Very minimalistic. Do not accept if seal is broken. Absolutely new. Unboxing time. Wow. I got this in silver shadow. Top of the box. We definitely have everything except a charging brake. USB-C to USB-C cable, some manuals inside, that's about it. We have one screen protector over here at the front. Ah, up front. First impression, the crease is almost invisible. When this phone comes out of the box fresh, this thing looks really clean. The crease becomes clearer once you start folding it, so this is a moment for us to savor. Wow, this color, it's amazing. So on the right side of the phone, you'll see the uh, volume rocker and then the uh, power button here also act as a fingerprint scanner. On the uh, left hand side, you get a SIM card. This is a single SIM card, not the dual SIM card like the Fold 5 and also Fold 6. And then down the bottom, we have a USB-C a speaker and a mic. The hinge looks really good. This color is a bit titanium, but it's not. Let's turn it on. Samsung Galaxy, secured by Knox. Powered by Android. Welcome. Should we flip it? Absolutely yes. Let's flip it and transfer everything from the Z Fold 5 to the Z Flip 6. The official flipping for the first time. Sounds absolutely amazing. Mm. There. <laughs> it's way more obvious right now, but still a lot better than the Z Flip 5. Sounds absolutely amazing. So the data have been transferred from the Fold 5 to the Flip 6 right now, and I've also slapped on this uh, speak and screen protector in the front and also the Samsung clear case to the phone looks pretty sick. Okay, so as a first time flip user, I find myself having a slight learning curve coming from the Fold 5 because I think it's easier to fold rather than to flip it with the Flip 6. So the slight learning curve, I think I need some time to get used to, but it feels a lot different uh, using normal slap phones like my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, I think that's pretty much very straightforward. You don't have to flip, you don't have to fold. But then again, this is also a very new experience for me, which I kind of dig because of the form factor. Nonetheless, the design of the Z Flip 6 looks so much better than the Z Flip 5. I think mainly because of the boxier design, it's like having a mini S24 Ultra in your hands that you can fold. Now the most obvious design with the Z Flip 6 is on the front cover display here, the camera rings. These camera rings, uh, the colors now matches the whole body depending on what color you choose. I have the silver shadow here with me and to be honest, uh, I think it looks pretty professional. Uh, other colors are good as well, but I just feel like this looks very good from my point of view. The main camera now is a 50 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. But of course, uh, you lose the telephoto function. There's this camera assist app, which you can download and you can always set a two times crop to make it look like a telephoto function. The inner display houses a 10 megapixel selfie camera, which uh, I don't think I'll be using it a lot because why use inner camera lens when you have a powerful 50 megapixel lens? Nonetheless, the number might be small, but with the uh, Galaxy AI Assist photo in the Z Flip 6, I think uh, the photo outcome would look 
pretty much okay compared to Z Flip 5. Internally, however, the battery size have been up to 4,000 milliamp batteries, although charging speed is still on 25 watt. It's kind of weird why Samsung only decides to bump up the battery capacity rather than to have the charging speed change as well, because I feel like these two should be done at the same time. If you want a smaller phone with you, which you can get like a whole day to go with, the charging speed also matters. Imagine like if you have only like 30% left and then you do a faster charging speed, you're able to get through the whole day and not even charge the phone at night. Also other competitors like the recently launched Xiaomi Flip goes with a 64 watt charging speed, which is an ideal charging speed in year 2024, Samsung needs to up his game. They've also added a vapor chamber into this small form factor phone, which I'm not sure like if it's just on this phone itself, but during the transfer data from my Fold 5 to the Flip 6, the phone gets really warm. If the vapor chamber is only functional when you're playing games, taking photos, or because there's too much data going from the Fold 5 to the Flip 6, hence it becomes really, really warm. I would have to spend more time with the phone, uh, probably another video about how I would spend my day with the Z Flip 6 and see how the battery goes, whether or not the vapor chamber addition really helps. Despite all that, I really, really dig this uh, Samsung Z Flip 6 clear case. I mean, to begin with, this Flip 6 is already a small phone, but um, when you add on this clear case from Samsung, it doesn't even feel as bulky. And you see this orange color flip design I really dig this case uh, because it fully shows the front cover display right here. The front cover here is a 60 Hertz AMOLED 3.4 inch cover display. It's the same as the Z Flip 5, same refresh rate. If they're able to like bump up the refresh rate, uh, it would be great, that would be a bonus. But then again, it's only a 3.4 inch small cover display. So that wouldn't be noticeable when you're using it. 60 Hertz is fine. And also now you can do more with the front cover display because they've uh, managed to squeeze in a lot of different interactive cards which you can play with, AI generated functions which you can apply on photos that you like to have on the front cover screen. Like for example, uh, depending on the weather, if it's raining, then you'll see that. Now the main display is a 6.7 inch FHD plus dynamic flexible AMOLED, which uh, also comes with 120 Hertz refresh rate. But the most noticeable change would be on the crease in the Z Flip 6 compared to the Z Flip 5. Now the crease looks a lot more or less visible than before. I think because of the newly designed hinge, you have like a wider gap, so you don't really see it especially when you scroll over it. I remember when I was trying out the Z Flip 5, every time I scroll in the middle, I feel like there's a very deep crease, but with the Z Flip 6, it's pretty smooth. As mentioned earlier during the unboxing, before you fold it for the first time, it's really, really flat, which you can see here, I'll replay it. But right now, after folding it for a couple of times, you'll notice that the crease becomes uh, even more obvious. But then again, it's still better than the previous generation. Now the border of the display also looks quite different from before. Previously, it's like a shiny material, but this year with the Z Flip 6, it's a matte finish, a lot more durable and more masculine than before. The design of the display border here definitely goes well with the whole uh, boxier design. Nice. Now this year, Samsung seems to focus more on their Galaxy AI function. In this Z Flip 6, which under settings, you're able to find a Galaxy AI tab. Now inside here, there's a lot of Galaxy AI function. You have call assist, chat assist, interpreter, notices, transcript assist, photo assist. But to me, I feel like there's only a handful of uh, Galaxy AI Assist functions, which we will use. For example, I think that the uh, interpreter function is really good pair with the design of this phone. It's very easy to use. You just flip it up like that, turn the interpreter on, and you're able to converse properly and having live interpretation with different languages that you do not understand. Note Assist is also very, very useful, especially with uh, long articles. You can just tap on the uh, auto summarizations and then you're able to get um, a whole understanding of what articles you're reading. Transcript Assist is also one of the functions which I find really, really useful. You can just press the record button throughout your meetings and then have Galaxy AI assist you on getting the important points out or to have it auto summarized. As for the other AI photos assist, I think it's really fun to have. Overall, this year's Galaxy Z Flip 6 price is slightly higher than before. 
and whether or not these uh, Galaxy AI functions uh, being in the phone is worth the price increase, I would not know, but I feel like um, this year's Z Flip 6 is more of a refinement. However, it's also good to know that Samsung has also promised uh, its users to have a seven year of major Android updates and security updates. But whether or not you'll be using this phone for the next seven years, we will not know. We need to spend more time with the phone and see uh, how it fares. Like, will it even reach half of seven years? I don't know, we'll see. So that's all for today's video, a very brief unboxing and also uh, first impression of the Z Flip 6. I'll probably do another video like to test out uh, going out with this phone and see how the battery fares. Also some of the functions that the uh, most of us are quite interested in, especially the Galaxy AI photo functions. Uh, I'll probably test that out too. Let me know in the comment section below uh, if you have any further questions of the Z Flip 6 and I'll be more than happy to share my experience with you. That's all for today's video. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.